in this video, we're gonna be sharing with you the top five tips that you can use to improve your defense overnight in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about how you can become the best Madden player that you could possibly become. And so every single day what we do on YouTube is we sit down for about five to 10 minutes and we share with you tips and strategies that you can use to improve. We also live stream every single night at six o'clock or at eight o'clock p.m. Eastern time, and you can come by and hang out and we'll be talking Madden live. But what we're talking about today, what we wanna focus on is what are the top five things, right? What are five ways that you can improve your defense overnight? So if you wanna to subscribe to the channel, I'd encourage you to do that. Um, it's completely free to subscribe. And again, it just allows you to get access to those videos when we release them on a daily basis. I actually have a full defensive guide um, that is based on kind of the 335 wide. If you want to get that guide, I believe 335 def uh, 335 wide defense is the best defense in the game. It's the defense that I'm going to use to share this with you. And so if you want to get access to that defensive guide, it has complete video breakdowns, film study, as well as written uh, setups and tutorials in it. Uh, and literally will walk you step by step through how you can begin to implement um, this defensive system into your Madden game. So if you want to get that uh, that guide, it's in the description. You can get that for just $15. But we're going to open this up and we're going to start with our first tip uh, to improve on defense. And that our first tip in Madden 21 specifically is the tip of personnel. And so the way that I've written this out is have access to the right personnel and, and then in parentheses I put linebackers do not jump. What I mean by that is this. If I come out in a 3-4, like let's say I come out in this 3-4 bear and I call the play cover three. Let's just use a, a kind of a hypothetical, right? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run an out route right at that at that zone. So I'm going to do something like, like this. And basically what I want to share with you and show you is how I can basically throw the ball like right at the linebacker. And as you see, he doesn't do anything. He doesn't jump. He doesn't stop the route. I'll, I'll click off of him for a second here just so I can, again, illustrate this point. So, again, here we're going to now work on the left side. So I'm going to put a, you know, like a little flat zone. I'm going to put a little curl. And I just want you to watch. You're going to see that the circle receiver, there's a curl flat out there, and the linebacker is acting like he has no clue what is happening, okay? This is the issue. This is the issue with um, using linebackers in Madden 21 as your primary coverage players. So what this means, okay, so what this means is basically we can pretty much rule out, see, look right there. They don't jump. I threw right at them. They don't jump. They don't jump for the ball, okay? So what we can tell, what we can basically do is we can essentially rule out any defense that forces us to have to use linebackers in coverage with the exception of dropping a linebacker from the line of scrimmage. Okay, so what that means is 4-6 bear, that's out. 3-4 bear, that's out. 4-6 uh, bear under, that's out. Some people at the beginning of the year were using 4-6 speed package. I actually taught this in one of my guides uh, that I did earlier in the season. Um, we were using the 46 speed package. This was back when you could get some really, really good glitchy um, kind of disengage glitches from 3-4 bear and 4-6 bear. Because they patched that since then, um, it's really just it's really kind of a meaningless strategy. There's not great pressure from those those sets. There's not great run defense. Um, the run defense is not that much better. And so that's why I say you want to have access to the right personnel. Every year there's a there's a uh, a personnel that you want to look for. And so in this year's game, what we want to do. Um, but what we can't do is we can't come out in dollar. So dollar would give us like the best personnel possible. But the problem is Madden actually instituted um, Madden actually instituted this essential phrase called weak boxing. And basically what it means is if you come out in a dollar set and then the offense comes out in like an iPhone Pro set, then essentially what's going to happen is that iform pro set is going to dominate the dollar set. Now, some people would tell you that it's stupid. Some people would tell you that it's the way that it's supposed to be. I honestly probably lie somewhere in the middle of it. But the bottom line is the dollar defense gives you very good personnel or like the 9146 defense gives you very good personnel. 
but it cannot stop the run. It's very weak against the run. And so if you run up against somebody that really knows what they're doing, they're just going to run the ball. And so this is where we kind of find ourselves where we want to say that the best style of defenses to use is, is, is definitely the nickel defenses. You want to use some type of nickel. The reason why is because if you look here, I'm going to hit the R1 button. And it's going to allow me to come over here. And you see, I, have a, I will normally have like a linebacker here. If I hit X, I can sub in a safety there. And so what I like to do is I like to put corners at corner, right? And then I like to put also corners at safety. So you see here, Kevin King and Josh Jackson are safeties for me. And then I like to have my fastest safeties possible, Savage, Will Redmond, and Adrian Amos as my three safeties in a 3-3-5 three, three, type of setting. The beauty of the 3-3-5 um, as opposed to the 3-3-5 wide is because the 3-3-5, three, three, all three of those linebackers are considered middle linebackers, which is why you can sub a safety in. If I go to the 335 wide, you'll notice that if I come back here and I put corners back here at, at safety, when I come down here, I can't put a safety in here. I can put a defensive in. It's because he's an outside linebacker. I could put a safety, uh, I could put a safety right here, okay, but I can't put anything down here. So that's just an important thing to understand. So you have to understand your personnel. The second tip to success or the second step for the uh, improving of your defense is to make everything look the same. This is kind of the hallmark and this is really kind of uh, attached a little bit, if you will, to the first step. And the reason why is because what we want to be able to do is we want to make everything look identical. Okay, We want to basically create this look right here every single time that we face the trips tight end. Now, if he audibles, let's say he audibles to bunch and the, the running back's now on this side, right, and the, and the slot's on the other side, we may need to flip the play really quickly, but you'll notice a very strong similarity. This basically looks exactly the same, right? It's just a little bit different uh, because the formation's a little bit different, okay? What if they go down to, uh, let's, let's go to this formation right here. Uh, so what if they go over to this formation, right? What are we gonna do in this situation? Well, the running backs here, you know, we pretty much stay the same. It looks exactly the same. The defense doesn't change. And so what the, the, the real core of that point is, is we want to be able to call, um, you know, cover two man. And we want it to look fairly similar to our cover three. We, we want everything to look exactly the same. And the way that you do that is that you press coverage. Um, you shift your line the same every single time. So we like to shift the line to the side of the running back. Um, and then you use her kind of in the same spot. Now, occasionally what I will actually do is I might do something like this. I might man this guy up on the tight end and I might click on over here. It looks the same to the, uh, to the, to the, to the guy at the line of the snap, but I'm now user rushing off the edge. That's, that's a little bit of an advanced tactic, but it does start with have everything or, or make everything look the same. The third tip that I have for you is to place your user on a blitz for passing uh, situations and place him on a curl flat for running situations. Essentially what I mean by this is you're gonna notice like if I go through, and you might already know this tip, but basically if, if, I, if I audible down to the cover four show two and I set my defense up, right? If I put this guy on a purple zone, I want you to watch his user speed. You're going to see that he's really slow. He doesn't really turn very fast. He's kind of slow. And so a way to solve this, an easy, an easy solution to this, and it actually helps you in multiple ways, but an easy solution to this is to just simply put him on a blitz. If you put him on a blitz, what's going to happen is two things. First is you can drop, um, you can drop an additional guy into coverage because you technically need to blitz three people for the linemen to actually like for the, the block sheds to happen if you don't blitz more than three uh, or if you don't blitz more than two people then the block they will never block shed but if you blitz more than three so in this situation we're only blitzing really two but our users aren't blitz and as you also see here he can cut a lot faster and he can basically do a lot more for me now the flip side of this is let's say that i'm in a situation where i want to use a rush so I want to use a rush through the A-gap. Well, I want to put him on a purple zone. And the reason why is because I don't want the lineman to kind of think that he's coming. I want them to kind of, you know, not think he's coming. And so as you can see here, I'm able to get in the pressure. Obviously, the running back was blocking, but I'm still able to get in. I'll show you that one more time. So if I if I audible down to Mike Blitz 3, I, instead of putting him on a blitz now, because I want to use a rush him through the A-gap, I'm just going to put him on a purple zone. And as you can see right here, I can come right through the middle. The center doesn't, that does, he doesn't shift over. The edge pressure, um, you know, it, 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 
it's the perfect kind of com combination. So now the next situation that I want to talk about is run defense. So like if you're in a situation where you want to, you think they might run the ball, that's where you want to put him on a purple zone. And the reason why is because again, the same kind of theory. If the if the AI doesn't know he's blitzing, he's going to be able to get through the ball through the middle a lot faster than he would if he was able to if he was on a blitz. Okay, so place your user on a blitz for passing situations and a curl flat if you think he's going to run. The um, the next tip comes from zone drops. And it's talking about Mabel coverage. This is a really simple tip, but I think actually a really, really effective one. So what I like to recommend to people, a lot of people do this kind of situation right here. They'll put their flats on five, they'll put their curl flats on 25, and their hooks on five. What I just want to simply suggest to you is to go ahead and make your flat zone your deeper of the two zones. And the reason why is because flat zones are going to do a much better job at getting to the sideline and playing the crossing routes, the corner routes, and all of those things. So I'm going to put the flats on 25, the curl flats on 10, and the hooks on 5. That's kind of my preferred way to play. Some, occasionally I'll put those flats on on on, um, on whatever you call it. I think it's, I think it's uh, on, 30, on 30 yards. I'll occasionally do that, but here you'll notice, like if I go to Tampa 2 here and I put a purple out there, you're going to see that this Mabel coverage is going to play really, really well, and I'm going to be able to take this away with that 25-yard flat. If that was a 25-yard purple zone, it would not be able to do that. And then the last tip that I have for you, and honestly probably the most important tip that I can give you, is to focus on holding your opponent to field goals as opposed to trying to always... Um, as opposed to trying to stop everything that they do. So you want to kind of try to play bend but don't break style of defense so you have kind of a plan to do that. Maybe it's to use zone drops, maybe it's to use match coverage, maybe it's to stop the run. We show you how to do all of that stuff in our 335 wide defensive guide. But at the end of the day, the bottom line is we want to force our opponent to have to, to have to drive up field. We want to force him to play left-handed, and we want to force him to have to take field goals. So we want to focus in on really, really um, kind of forcing, um, taking away the one-play touchdowns. One of the easiest ways to do that um, is to off is to play simply um, a very, very easy way that you could do this is you could go to Mike Blitz three, and basically shade coverage down, shade coverage up. And then you want to put seam flats out here with a three rack, just like this right here, this defense. And then all you're going to do um, is you're just simply going to put two deep halves on your field, right? Put both outside corners in deep halves. This is going to force them to drive. Now, are they going to have openings? Sure, they're going to have openings. Of course, they're going to have routes that are going to get open. But the routes that are going to get open are going to have to be much, much, much deeper down the, uh, or, or not going to be like one play touchdowns. They're going to be corner routes. They're going to be hitches. There's going to be slants. And they're not going to be the one-play touchdowns that can happen if you just run cover three all game. And so using zones that really force your opponent to have to work, and then what you want to do is in the red zone begin to kind of – that's where the one-play touchdowns can't really happen. Obviously, uh, obviously that could happen, but the, the bombs are less likely in the red zone because there's just not enough space for them to be able to do that. And so as a defense, you want to kind of play a bit but don't break – force them to drive up the field, and then in the red zone is where you really want to make your money. So uh, we teach you how to do all of this in the 335 wide defensive guide. And so if you want to learn everything that I personally know about defense, I would encourage you, and how to implement that in your own game, I would encourage you to get the 335 wide defensive guide. It's the best defense in the entire game, and you can get it right now in the description of this video for just $15. There's going to be a link down in the description that you can click that will get you that guide for $15. Bucks. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to text me. My number is 208-218-6900. Thanks for watching today's video, and again, the link to the guide is in the description.